thought I'd make one of them driving videos. It, it seems like that's a uh, that's a hip thing to do nowadays. Make a video while you drive. Next year, 2024, I want everybody to mark their calendars because there is several, uh, how should you say, biblical and uh, political occurrences that lead me to believe that April, between April 7th and let's say April 28th, somewhere in there, let's say, let's say uh, from April 7th all the way up to the end of April of 2024 is a high chance of something fundamentally changing the whole caboodle. I'm not saying that'll be a shit hit the fan event, but it very well could be something that causes the poo to hit the fan. These things are, a lot of coincidences are happening, right? On April the 8th of 2024 is a new moon. It's the new moon before the Passover moon. And if anybody wants to do the math in the Bible, which is most likely Jesus' true birthday, or Yeshua, that's more than likely it's the new moon before the Passover where he was crucified. So his birthday would be the beginnings, new moon, and it's also the right time of year for the lambs to be having their the lambing season. Anyway, that's not what this one's about. It's one of the coincidences. Now, the second half of the great solar eclipse, you know, where it makes the X across the country, is also happening on April the 8th. You know, we had the, the first one seven years ago, uh, where it went right across, and the, the one that's happening on the 8th of the the 8th of April of 2024 is going to make an X right across the New Madrid fault line. Either way, it's an X across the center of the United States happening on the 8th, which is also, you know, here we go, the new moon prior to the full moon. Uh, so we got coincidences. Now here we got the third coincidence. That is traditionally the time of year that the election heat up. So, we are on the verge of a civil war right now. I mean, just think about it. They got, if they pull some more shenanigans and say, oh, we can't vote, you have to, everything has to be done by mail-in voting, which, uh, you know, due to our voting system being anonymous, the anonymous vote, once that piece of paper gets in there, there's no way that absolutely no way to prove that that was actually a person that submitted that vote. So, unless unless it's in-person paper uh, ballot, no, it's not going to work. It, 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 it can be cheated on. All of this is happening during that time, that time frame. Uh, between the new moon and the full moon, you know, that's why I'm putting down April the 7th to give, you know, because something might happen in the Middle East. You know, things tend to happen that, out there. But this is going to be in, in Pacific in the United States because there's going to be something happen here that knocks the United States out of prophecy. Now, we are already poking the bear, and the bear has enough nukes to really EMP us. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. Please don't say, oh, D. Sardi is prophesying an EMP. But it very well could be. What I am suggesting is that everybody has all their stuff topped off before those dates. You know, you know traditionally, uh, right now when I'm making this video, we're approaching the Yom Kippur, which is traditionally when we have economic collapses. But... Being that next year we got the 
taking half of that solar eclipse that makes the X across the United States. We've got it happening on Jesus' real birthday. Uh, we've got the Passover uh, just what, 14 days after that, new moon to full moon. So we've got the, the birth and the crucifixion all happening within a few days. It's the heating up uh, the, at the, what do you call it, when, when the drag race really starts, you know, they take off for the election stuff. Uh, so I'm looking for some kind of event to happen during that time. Now, we could have an economic uh, disaster happen this fall, actually within a, uh, let's see, when is Yom Kippur? Uh, end of September, middle of September of 2023. That's another day to watch to see what happens because they're, they're fighting the crypto thing. Uh, you know, the government doesn't want crypto because it gives the people an alternative to the dollar. Uh, so, but an EMP would knock that out. So, yeah, crypto is worthless during an EMP. But if there's not an EMP, crypto can be great. So, next year, about that time, what could happen? What could happen? Oh, wait a minute. Didn't they give uh, March of 2024, January, March, uh, of the trial date for Trump? Hmm. Let's see. The trial is, I think it was March 20th, uh, and he goes to trial, and he is convicted and put in prison. That would happen right around April 8th or 9th or something like that. I could see, I could see civil war starting over that. So, uh, Anybody thinking about running in Tennessee for that? Don't, because Tennessee has a deep state problem too. Everything that is going on in D.C. is happening on a lesser level at the Tennessee state government. Tennessee state government, they claim to be red, but they are, I mean, you can, when you walk into the state capitol in Nashville, you can almost feel the, the spirit of the Antichrist in that place. There is, that is just wicked, I mean, uh, but anyway, nothing I can do about it above my pay grade. So I'm going to tell y'all preppers out there to make sure your stuff is topped off. Uh, you know, if you got any, if you got solar, a solar system that the batteries are old and need replacing, yeah, it might be a good time to replace them. Uh, you know, anything that needs to be refreshed uh, might be a good time to rotate your stock and all like that. And have everything ready to go. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? You have extra food that you don't have to buy for a couple of years? Yeah, no big deal. I mean, that's the neat thing about prepping with stuff that you use anyway is you're not really throwing any money away. You're, so, I, I would uh, at least try to have my stuff topped off by, by those days because there's a there's an awful lot of stuff all coming to a head uh, next year and 2024. And if you uh, want to speak biblically, uh, you know, the seven-year tribulation, so 2024, let's, let's say 2024 is the beginning of the tribulation. Now y'all pre-trib rapture people will love it, but I don't know about pre-trib rapture. It might be post or mid or whatever. I don't think anybody's going to get away scot-free. And a lot of people, I know for a fact, uh, especially where I used to live in Wilson County, Tennessee, there's a lot of uh, pre-tribbers that are going to church. Uh, thinking they're going, 
they're not even practicing Christianity. They're not even, they're, they, they wouldn't even make it past judgment. So, they're not going. They can, they can hope all they want, but they're not practicing Christians, so they're not going anyway. But anyway, let's say 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2030, there's six years. Anybody want to look up the 2030 prophecy? But anyway, 20, uh, 31, 2032, 2032 is seven years from 2024, and everybody says, not everybody, but most people think that Jesus was between 32 and 33 years old when he was crucified. So, I mean, there's an awful lot of coincidences happening in 2024. And uh, them uh, throwing Trump in jail for, it's going to be an open, what do you call it, open uh, trial, and we're going to see uh, beyond a doubt that he's going to get railroaded. We know that he cannot get a fair jury in uh, D.C. It, it's impossible. And downtown Atlanta. Now, I've been, I've sat through jury trials. I've been through where they, uh, jury selection. And let me tell you what. They can stack the deck. I mean, sure, uh, the defense attorneys can has a chance to kick out some jurors, and the prosecution has a chance to chick, kick out jurors. But the actual people they call into the jury pool, they can finagle that. They can finagle it. We're saying, well, we're just calling people from this area of town, and we know everybody from that area of town are. Antichrist. They're, they're, they're just left wing, uh, and, you know, don't believe in, in Jesus or, or Christ whatsoever. So, uh, that, that could easily be done in Atlanta and Washington, D.C., and New York, which just so happens to be where they're trying to take these cases at. So, we already know he's not going to get a fair jury trial there. And they're not going to grant uh, uh, the motion for a change of venue where he can go to, let's say, let's say he wants to, let's say we do the, the trial for Atlanta and we do the trial uh, for uh, D.C. and New York. But we're going to do it, eh, let's just roll the dice and or take a, a, a dart and throw it in the middle of the country, wherever that dart lands. That's where we'll have the trial, and that's where you get the jury from. No, they won't do that. It would be too fair. So, anyway, that this whole 13 or 15 minute video of me driving down the road has been for y'all to mark your calendars for April 7th through the 30th, or how many days there are. Somewhere in that time frame, to be looking for something to happen. I mean, it, there'll be something that either starts the ball rolling. It could be the beginning of World War III. It could be uh, something happens that will bring about, uh, as preppers like to call it, Tiatwaki, or the end of the world as we know it. So, anyway, there's my little video I am uh, making for, for riding down the road.